Hey guys, today I'm making a homemade macaroni and cheese and I have a recipe here but I'm going to be doing uh, my own recipe that I, you know, I changed it up a little. Um, I'll give you the recipe and then you can use that one or use the one that um, I do because I do add cream cheese to my macaroni and cheese and I don't add a few things but uh but uh hello and welcome to my channel so glad you're watching um i hope you enjoy and this recipe calls for one pound of elbow um macaroni half cup of butter half cup of all-purpose flour four cups of milk which i use half and half um Four cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Just buy this bag. I'm gonna have to turn my background light on. Uh, calls for a half cup plus two tablespoons of Frank's Red Hot Original um, hot sauce. I got that. Then uh, two stalks, three stalks of celery. Two cups of chopped cooked chicken, one fourth cup of thinly sliced green onions, that's optional, and half cup of crumbled blue cheese, optional. Now, I don't use the blue cheese or the onion or celery, um, and then I just buy the cooked chicken from Walmart. I have this, and if that's not enough, I'm going to be using this also. So let's get started. I'm going to turn um, this light on. I'm going to plug it in and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now get ready to put the noodles in. And then I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. And then while the noodles are cooking, I'll start on the butter and um, the half and half and everything in this pan. Remember use uh, one pound of the elbow noodles. And I've I've already buttered my dish. I usually just spray it with Pam but I'm out so I just use butter. Let me get something for the noodles. And it says to let them cook like halfway um, or three-fourths of the way. But I cook my noodles all the way through because you only cook this for like 15, 20 minutes and then it's done. So I don't think that's enough time, but... I cook my noodles. So I'm putting a half cup of butter in here. Let that melt. I'm going to get the uh, flour ready. Butter still hasn't melted yet. I got the flour ready and I'm going to get my half and half open. I'm sure you can use heavy whipping cream also if you want. It would it would be more, you know, um, denser maybe. I don't know, but uh, I use half and half. And it calls for milk, so... And it, it says to take your flour, after the butter's melted, take your flour and mix it, and then add your milk. But every time I do, it clumps up. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So what I'm going to do is pour the milk in and the flour 
and then because you cook it a while so you're going to get that flour taste out of it I don't think that would matter if I add it with the milk I don't think it would be too bad So how's everybody doing today? We cleaned our pantry out today. That was a task, throwing a lot of old food and stuff away that we didn't, that we don't eat or it's too bad to eat. And I made, I made a video of um, a, a tiny Timu haul. I was going to upload it for the YouTube shorts, but I didn't know that I, it's, it's five minutes long and I think it's too long for YouTube shorts. So I might put it on TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, my name is The Moon Dust Life on TikTok, or you could search um, my name. Uh, M-A-R-C-H-E-F-E-R-I-A-N-I. -E -E That's my username or whatever. But if you search The Moon Dust Life, you should be able to find me. I'm on Instagram, too. And it's The Moon Dust Life. And I just do this while the noodles are cooking. and I don't know about... 10 minutes or so. I just like to make my own recipe. But I, I do use that recipe um, as a base. And then, you know, I'll just add my own stuff. Take out what I don't want. I've only made this like three times, I think. And now it's like a weekly ritual to make. Because David loves it. And butter's pretty much melted. And let me get, let me pour, I'm going to pour my milk and then I'll pour the uh, flour. So... We need four cups of milk. Oh, my nose is... Oh, my allergies. It's been raining, and every time it rains, my allergies get bad. Put that aside. Oh, don't forget the... The cream cheese, I'm going to put that in so that way it gets, gives time to melt. It's called buffalo, I don't even think I said what it was called, buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. Never really done recipes on YouTube and stuff. My channel's new, so I'm a little nervous, so that's why I forgot. But yeah. I tried to soften it a little bit before I started all this. It feels like a Sunday. I usually make it on Sundays. But today is Saturday. I'm glad I'm making it today, so... I ain't got a rush or anything to get ready for bed for Monday. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add the half cup of flour. Little by little. I do have a whisk. Probably should use it. Mm 
I'm going to use that because you use a half cup of the uh, Red Hot. Let me get my whisk. And I'll get that melted and I'll be back. Okay, so this is starting to thick up. So I lowered the temperature. I turned it down some. It's starting to thick up. I'm going to add my chicken. And I don't think this is enough, so I opened the other bag. I want the chicken to be um, heated up. Let me get the other chicken. Waiting for the noodles to be done. They're almost done. This pan just slides all over the place. And I'll be back. So I drained the noodles. I put them in this big, huge bowl. I'm going to set that right here. And I took this off for a little bit. See how thick that is? Mm -mm. And then what you want to do is add your, your hot sauce. Put that over here. And add your cheese. Take this out and use a spoon now. good and I don't normally put breadcrumbs on top but I think um, he wants me to, to put breadcrumbs on it this time so yeah turn this off make sure it's all mixed up out of the way. Let me open up. I just got plain breadcrumbs. Are you fogging up? <laughs> I don't know if the camera's fogging up or not from all this steam. Just set that there. It's a little messy.
All right, and let me get the pan. I could use a little bit bigger pan, but I've used this one since I started using recipe and it's worked, so I'm not changing anything. <laughs> Mm mm. Gooey gooey. And then you cook it until it bubbles. I think it's about 15 minutes or so. Have a little bit of breadcrumbs on it. Do it this way so you can see. I think that's enough breadcrumbs. You well, know, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Then we're gonna put this in the oven and I'll come back whenever I take it out. I'm back and it's been about uh, 15 minutes. And I'm going to take out the macaroni and cheese. And I forgot, um, before I put it in the oven, um, before you put it in the oven, use this and drip it over the top. So I'm going to put it over the top when I get it out. can't believe I forgot, but not a big deal. Let me turn the oven off. And there it is. Just drip some strip it over the top. So that's buffalo chicken, macaroni and cheese. And if you like this recipe or it looks yummy, click the like button for me. It helps me out. And if you're new here, uh, welcome. And please consider subscribing. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. Um, leave in the comments um, any questions that you have. Or, or uh, if you want me to post the recipe, uh, I can do that if anybody wants it. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.